what happened? <laughs> well, I got shot. <laughs> I got shot. I escaped. I was taken to their car, uh, down to the commandant at a place called saint etienne du rouvray a sort of small borough by the Seine River. And I tried to manage to escape from the car, and they, they shot me on the, on the run, of course. But I still kept on running, and they, well, they, uh, they had no more ammunition. They went back to the commandant. Uh, they picked up new uh, ammunition and dogs. <laughs> so I had to walk across a small canal, not too shallow one, anyway. And I remember what I've been taught in, uh, in, uh, in Bule before. So when you want to hide something, don't hide in the bushes, because anyway, the general is going to beat the bushes. So I was right in an open field. It was about minus 10, and you very freezing cold, right in the field, an open field, right in the center, all out there, and the Germans beat the bushes and all this and all that, and they didn't find me, and I died there. I must say I died at, uh, at midnight. I lost completely conscious, fragmented and conscious. I think I died. <laughs> I woke up in the morning at five o'clock <coughs> in sort of a, a coffin made of ice, a nice coffin, you know. I got out of it and walked back to Rouen, so about nine kilometers, <laughs> then to my flat on the sixth, fifth floor. And then um, I told, uh, I've had a message sent to, to, to Staunton and say, well, by the way, yeah, better tell the Someone's got to uh, to tell the German and the police, make a statement that well, this motorbike has been stolen during the night. And that, that worked anyway. 